one of the great traditions of the Speedway here, of course. If you come out this May, things look a little different here around the mm -hmm. Brickyard, all part of the upgrades made for the 100th race. Michael Grady got the tour. You know, they say the more things change, the more they stay the same. And with so much history here at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway, that's exactly what track officials were hoping for when Project 100 first started. Call it a labor of love. After three years in three different phases, the Indianapolis Motor Speedway's Project 100 is a labor that's nearly complete. Yeah, I think it went pretty much the way we envisioned. It's uh, been an interesting uh, interesting situation. Uh, every month there's something new or something different, especially this last portion where we've gotten into the grandstands here. You know, some of these grandstands are 65 years old, and so you think everything's going to be great or you think you're relying on a drawing, and when you get got into it where you were going to mount something, it was a little bit different, so we had to make a lot of field adjustments. Uh, but other than that, it's gone pretty well. Long-time race scores and even past and present drivers were a little apprehensive about the changes underway at the Speedway, but that's something track officials took under careful consideration. And we face it in everything we do is balancing what makes us special, which is our history and tra tradition, but also trying to upgrade the facility a little bit so it feels more like a modern amenity or that you'd get at a stadium like Bankers Life or Lucas. So a stadium seat, for example, which was foreign until this year, you got a folding chair or a bench. So those are the kind of things we wanted to do, but at the same time, we didn't want people to come in and look at this and go, wow, it looks like a brand new place because what makes us special is the things you're used to in the history of the place. Project 100 began with the laying down of the new road course, then the video boards and a new pylon, and now the new catch fence around the track, a new gate one entrance and seat renovation, which provides the ability to offer seating for those with disabilities and high demand sections. And though Project 100 is nearly complete, the work is still not over. I'm excited. I, what I'm really excited about is just opening up because we can think through how this thing's going to work, but we're going to learn a lot uh, on practice days. We're going to learn a lot of the Angie's List Grand Prix, and we're going to learn a lot race day for the 500, and then we'll make it better going forwards. So that's really what I want to see is get people up here and give us the feedback. This worked. This didn't fix this. It's like living in a home, right? you got to live in it for a little while before you know where the furniture goes or what, what lights, where the light switches really need to be. So that's really what we're looking forward to. Just get people in here and get their feedback. Michael Grady, Trackside 6.